Even the steepest of slopes here in British Columbia are covered with bog-like vegetation. And when you have nutrient-poor bog-like areas like this covered with sphagnum moss, you have to adapt to surviving in those very low nutrient, very acidic conditions. And that means being a carnivorous plant is a really good thing to do. So even here in British Columbia, we find carnivorous plants carpeting these slopes that are covered in sphagnum moss. Things like sundews. We've got round leaf sundew just absolutely everywhere we look here. We have other bog plants like uh, Labrador tea, Leadum greenlandicum. Not a carnivorous plant, but one that we see in bogs all over the north. And another plant that I never expected to find, but is all over the place here, is a butterwort. Now this is a carnivorous plant. This guy has a very sort of unreal green leaf and the surface of the leaves are covered with sticky fluid. Now that, those sticky glands are very short glands, not really long stalk glands like the sundew, but very short glands that are sticky attract tiny little flying insects. And these leaves are completely covered. When they stick onto there, the leaves slowly curl over and digestive enzymes are produced by the plant protease to break down that insect into the nitrogen that's missing in this habitat. So wherever you have these boggy conditions and very acid soils, you expect to find carnivorous plants, even though you might not expect to see them right here on the Pacific coast of British Columbia.